Well, 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 what have we got here then? Oi, Alex. Stains and smell are already done. <laughs> you were there when I did it. Yeah, we've got rest of demon ruins to do. So. <laughs> yeah, they all sort of merge together eventually. So yeah, I'd come back here because why did I come specifically to this bit? Oh, it was a shortcut I was looking at. So. Yeah, we're done. This bit. We're done because we've just done the Demon Fire Surge. So I have the rest of this nice fiery area to do. If I can remember where I'm supposed to go. Because yeah, we went down to do pinwheel and the rest of them and yeah that's the way we came up we got to the tomb of giants and realized i still hadn't found like a light source to use but i know for a fact that there's one i can get around here somewhere so this is a big circle i've just dropped into fire sages pit again yeah, Centipede and Better Chaos are next on the list. Ah, oh, I remember now. We head down. Hoi, Killy. And then for some reason, another bonfire. Yeah, we've just done Demon Fire Sage, which is an arse of a fight. I hate that fight. But, this is... don't think it's in this area. Although there are some of the enemy. There is a light source we can get down here. Small children. So I'm doing this bit for the guarantee of a light source, and I can't remember how I get down from here. Do we just, just go for it? There. So I will polish off this area and then go back to the undead crypts because that's where we were supposed to be going. Although there are some upgrades I can get as well. Because I am remembering more of this game the more that we play. That's someone saying also means I'm, I'm human at the moment. 
What's this? Solar! Well, through the fuck we go. To... Whatever this is. I actually forgot this boss fight was this close. <sighs> Hi Wayne. Yep. I am compensating for my lack of skills with a big smashy hammer. Same way some people compensate in WoW by playing shamans. Come on. <laughs> Wasn't happy with that. Ah. Grab attack, that's gonna hurt. It's grown another head, I think. Let's go for the legs. The legs are usually a good bet for bosses like this. Legs and roll away. I have to roll into him. <laughs> yeah. This looks like something Kelly would keep as a pet, to be honest. on because that ring is important oh yeah and all the demons only ever drop like humanity and homeward bones and things like that very few of them have their own souls for some reason so I had flame on and we will swap you for lava damage yeah that boss isn't too bad I think the only other boss down here is Bed of Chaos as well. So let's do a little bit of exploring. Because there are items. Green Titanite Shards. I notice it doesn't actually stop you taking damage from the lava, you just take tiny amounts from it. Yeah, you can do it all in one run, but it's you have to be very lucky to be able to do so. No. Where did we go from here? I can't remember. Is it down one of these side bits?
Yeah, the run back from Bed of Chaos is a real pain. So a small bit of rock we can stand on. I can't remember where to go. I assumed it was through that door, but apparently not. I should just run around the edge and see what I find. Do the usual trick of beat the boundaries. Actually damaging it. Don't think so. is just confused now. should still be alright. Yeah, it's about... I am just forgetting. I've literally walked past it twice. I am blind as fuck. It is. <laughs> Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Winner. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Poor Solaire can't find his sunlight. Why? After I gonna do? Oh yeah. Put the ones of these that I'm never gonna use back in the box. Of course I am, Dave. It is Salah, he is a bro. Um, the other thing I was gonna do Seeing as my weapon requires dragon scales. Oh, I can't reinforce armor myself. Shall repair stuff that I'm wearing and that because it's spare. I was going to reinforce armor, but I need to go to an actual blacksmith to do that. So, we'll just level up a bit more. With. 
strength. Do I have any items to burn to? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, he's easily one of the coolest people, and like, if you fuck up, you fuck up, and he's gone. Like, I managed to save him in my in my first playthrough purely through fluke, because I did it in the right order. It's handy as well, you can have him come and fight Gwyn with you. Like I did first time I played it. And he's not massively useful, but he's a distraction. Yeah, it did mean I beat Gwyn my first try though. It was just me and Solaire versus Gwyn. Downed him first time. I'm gonna do it properly. I did it properly first time. Like, the parrying's a good way to do it. Because you still have to get good at parrying to be able to kill him that way. So now we've got these fuckers. <laughs> yeah, Dave was there when it happened. So yeah, now we've got these guys. These guys are... I think they're still demons. But they're supposed to be like... Failed dragons. Like they experimented in creating their own... Kinds of dragons and ended up with these failures. Yeah, parrying is the e well not the easiest, but the most effective way of fighting him. I don't particularly want to fight these things either. They're an absolute pain. They do a ton of damage. <gasps> You're going to get me some Beth. You should come and drop some off on the doorstep for me. Please. Please. Nah, enjoy your Jabeers. That stuff is, that place is great. I have not had any Jabeers for a long time. Oh yeah, it's just to open this one, isn't it? It is a takeaway near where we live. Well, it's like, so near where I live at the moment. And they do like the best chicken tikka, the best kebabs, everything like that in this area. That one's Sydney. Head this thing out first. <laughs> so yeah, uh, look how much damage that thing does. And then he's got this stupid double attack. Luckily, I do a chunk of damage to it, but... They're just really awkward to fight, and... There's not much point in doing so. Like, they give you a couple of thousand souls, but you don't get any drops or anything off them. And they're just really awkward. So... Ooh. I'm gonna have a look around one of these. I'm sure one of these has a secret on it. I remember there being like a hidden door or something on one of these.
Gotcha. There's a bonfire. Yeah, he doesn't do actual curries, but he does like um, like tikka style chicken kebabs and things like that, and they're all really good. No one spotted me. Yeah, there are a bunch of missable bonfires in this game. Is it the coffin? Is it the coffin where we need to go? I remember there being a coffin near the way up. But the lava blinds me, so... Yes, it is. Underneath the coffin. Also, there is literally nothing else out in this area. Hi, Manu. It is fine. You've only missed one boss, though. So. Oh yeah, there's that thing up there, isn't there? So... I'm guessing it's going to be one of these rooms over here that leads up to it. There used to be a really mean PvP thing people did in this area. There is a weapon, con oh, not a weapon, a spell <laughs> uh, called Judgment or something similar like that. And it triggers a massive explosion when you take enough damage. So what people would do would cast that spell when they invade this area and they would put on all their fire protection stuff and then just bait people to fight them near the lava and they just run around in circles in the lava then take off the lava protection ring and put it back on again really quickly and just trigger a massive explosion where they were stood you could wreck people with it <laughs> oh, poor Kel. Hi, back. the lava ring anymore so we will swap you out for discovery evil eye um, yeah we'll go for steel protection see you looking at me but he's stuck on the route <laughs> look at him he's trying so hard but he can't get here dead that's the one Alex Oh, 
there are places you can get stuck in this area as well. Because I remember getting stuck at points. Like, physically stuck. Some of these bloody roots. more pretty more or have I got them all now there yeah spicy red donami is good stuff So what was that place we used to get from near yours, Dave, that did red dot me? That went shit. Uh, these things I don't like. They're called Chaos Eaters. Ugly, of course. Gino's, that's the one. Chinos did red on me. Chinos used to be great. It is not great anymore. So, how do I get that item? Do I have to go round? I bet I do. Was in waterfall, I think, Beth. Right, so we are doing some exploring because I know where the boss is in this area. But there's a few co other cool things we can find, and maybe some upgrades. We've got this item here, which is a rare thing of sacrifice. That's going to come in really handy later on. Oh yeah, if any of you feel like dicking around during the stream... I've put the sound elements thing on and it's all free apart from like a couple of them. So feel free to mess with it for a bit.
this is the area I was looking for. Unfortunately, it has a Titanite demon. So, um, do I have any of? No, nope. not got any green herbs on me. So I'll try fighting this fellow, but I don't know how tough he is in this area. Oh, he's tall. We shall ignore this one. Or try to. <laughs> right. Put the lava ring on before I run out there and murder myself. Coffin is right in front of us. I will have to try that place at some point, Beth. I remember when there was a Chinese shippy there. Vaguely. Don't think I ever went to it though. Look, you just get stuck every time that one. around this way instead. Already. <laughs> It did not take long. Oh, there is something over here. I was just blind. Just a large soul. <laughs> Such a nice description of the place. I went this way last time, but I missed an item because I was being blind again. So, go over here. Bye, bear. Enjoy your food. There, got it. Is that all that's here? Yeah, looks like it.
Yeah, a bed of chaos is soon. There is a specific thing I have to do before I fight the boss. Unfortunately, it means I'm going to have to leg it past that uh, Titanite demon. Or try to, anyway. So, all the way down there, there is a Titanite demon. And past him is the thing that I want. So. Naked run it. Run away. Now, if I've done this correctly, Wanderer, black. We've got this little bastard. Eh, took too long. And then down here, we have these little fuckers. There you go, Dave. I am family. I have my very own. I am I done it. I Yes. I did. I did. Oh. oh. And that is the end of Solaire for this place. And from him you get two so humanity, you get all of his gear. Yeah. This is the failure state for this one. <laughs> so yeah, you get all of his gear. Because he had the thing that I wanted. He's still over here somewhere. There he is. So these things are chaos bugs. That one there has red eyes because it's a special one. It drops an item for us. You lying little bitch. <laughs> Sorry Dave. The thing I wanted was from here, which is this. A sunlight maggot. It is a light source you can wear on your head. So when we go back to the Grave of Giants, I could just wear this. Instead of having to have a lantern in one hand or anything like that, I can run around with this as my helmet. And we also get all of Solaire's gear. So let's just put it on to Tom Dave, shall we? Look, I'm Solaire. Peep peep poop poo. Peep peep poo poo. Right, let's do another mad dash and no wait. I've got bones on me, don't I? She's one of these. M A T U mother Fuki. So 
other stuff away because I don't need it. Not right now, anyway. I'm so mad I sent that without finishing. <laughs> Sunlight Talisman, we got Demon's Catalyst there. Crossbows can go away. Shortbow can go away. Spear can go away. Solair is crap anyway, good riddance. <laughs> Right under my great sword. Sunlight straight sword. Uh, no, long sword can go in there. So keep all that. And we'll put Solaris set away as well. Do I have enough for a level up? I do. More strength. And now, put the ring back on. And we shall head towards the boss. And then slightly past the boss, because there's even more bits to explore. Yeah, to actually save Solaire, you've got to come down here with like 30 humanity, I think it is, or 40. And you go and talk to the spider woman who is trapped in the wall, and you give it all to her, and it opens up that doorway where I just fought Solaire. And you can go there and kill that maggot with the red eyes before Solaire gets there, and that saves him. And then when you come round this way, he just sort of sits there disappointed, saying the bugs, what he expected to find there, isn't actually there. And he's going to go looking somewhere else. So that's how you actually rescue him. But... This time he dies. Was it over the other side of the boss or was it down that way? I can't remember. We we'll go up here and meet our new friend first. Ow! That pyromancy hurt. Still had the lava ring on as well, I should have swapped that for fire. So 
Swap you back for fire plate. Thank you. Found out, Dave, the weapon I'm using is all carved from one big tooth. It doesn't have a handle attached. So I was having a look at um, one of a German spy's videos, and he was going through the design of a bunch of the weapons. So, Dragon's Tooth is literally just a dragon's tooth that's been carved a bit. And the only reason you have to repair it, even though that the description says it's indestructible, is because they thought it was unfair to have one weapon that was indestructible when the rest weren't. So yeah, it is all carved from one big dragon tooth using magic. And the reason that it actually degrades and you have to repair it is gameplay reasons. Otherwise it would have actually just been a, a weapon that never loses any durability. Past the giant chaos eater plant. Who actually tried to hit me for once? I actually had to farm these guys the first time I played the game as well because they drop one of the titanite shards that's good for upgrading holy gear. They're like the best source of it. That one again. Right, so she's using the chaos stuff. But it's limited in range. So we get splattered. Ah, there's the Isolith Catalyst. Which is a bit weird because catalysts are for sorcery. And that was for pyromancy. Catalyst, the witch of Isolith of long ago, when her daughters were still flame witches, before they were engulfed by the pale's flame. Before the birth of pyromancy, their wands were mediums for sorcery, but knowledge of this flame sorcery has long since vanished. So yeah, pyromancy and flame sorcery in Dark Souls are two different things. Flame sorcery was originally like a an art like the rest of the sorcery. It had a lot of learning and intelligence. Like a lot of study I should say attached to it that you had to do to get any good at it. But when the Witches of Isolith came along they learned about pyromancy, which just uses your soul. Pretty much anybody can do pyromancy, it's not even hard to do. And that sort of took over from the flame sorcery, and everybody forgot how to do flame sorcery. Uh, what am I doing? get trapped if I'm not careful. Die, 360, die. Right then. 
So we've been this way. So now we go this way. We have this single lonely statue. Anything else around here? Does not look like it. So we will go down the other side of the boss room and see what's there. And then after that we shall give the boss itself a run. Oh no, this is what's here. What am I missing then? I know I'm missing something in this area. More secret doors? You've got a weird edge to you. You don't appear to be a secret door. Neither do you. Because there is a quest in this area to do. With a certain NPC. I can't remember where I go for it. I know it's here somewhere. I'm just going to go around and punch all the walls until I can find something. Unless I'm just being blind and I've run past it again like I did at the start. I was just being blind again. Hey look, more chaos eaters. I fell in a hole. Hop it up. Herp -a -derp. I can't remember whether he's in here at the start, or whether I'm supposed to meet him somewhere else first. Doesn't look like he's here. I goofed up on one of the quest lines again.
Oh yeah, this is the, the place with lots of poison as well, isn't it? So, last time I played this game, when I came to this area, Sequid was here and offered to help me fight. But now he's not. And I don't know why. Unless he's already dead. Oh, I know why. Gotta do Duke's archives for the first bit. So we will this is another place we will return to later. If I don't fall down the hole again. Never mind, I am poisoned now. That is everywhere explored, so let's make a mad dash for the boss, shall we? And we will come back and do that a bit later. Because there is supposed to be somebody there to help. So, swap you back out before you, before I run onto the lava. Swap you back for um, yeah, steel protection. here and now the most important part of this boss fight is get naked because the rest of it doesn't matter This is Bed of Chaos. So stick to the left. Part one complete. It is possible to cheese this entire bit as well by throwing firebombs. I never actually learned how to do it. But there's like a certain spot you can stand. 
This music sounds like your Dorothy going to Oz. <laughs> yeah, there's like a certain bit where you can stand and just like hurl firebomb over and land it directly on this lump thing. So, back this way. Well, the floor is no breaking. Granice rings don't matter, so I'm just going to leave the lava ring on and run like a madman. But yeah, Dorothy going to Oz sounds about right. And away we go to get stuck on another route. I love the thing, those things, the sound those things make when they're running, like the plop, plop, plop sound. Is that a broken texture over there then? It was. They never filled in the floor over there. So you can see where the lava ends. And then it's just nothing. Sit on that side as well. Chair up. Whee, and away we go. I doubt I'll remember the route and the right. But we shall see. Oh, I'm in range of his arm as well there. He's back a little bit. the inside of the branch till it comes down and then I'm going to try jumping over to the right oh you can get a better look at these guys from up here so you can see it's basically like the back half of a dragon. Like not even fully formed. Poor guys. Right then. Dog too. <laughs> I 
Have you ever seen the The Return to Oz? That film is freaky. Like Dorothy goes back to Oz and everything is just horribly messed up. Although some of their villains are basically just guys on roller skates. I think they're called wheelers or something like that. And they go around on all fours with like roller skates on their arms and legs. Right, so we go this way. Yeah, this cannibals are something like that, innit? It is a messed up film. The only thing I really dislike about this part, like, is the arms that sweep like that. Like, they're not actual attacks, they're treated like moving bits of scenery. So if you roll, you can avoid taking damage, but it's still going to push you. So all you can really do is just hope your timing is correct. Could do with a closer bonfire as well, but... It is not too bad if you're just legging it. It is possible to kill yourself on this slide down as well. If you slide into one of these trees at the side, they do damage to you when you hit them. Right, let's see if I can bait out the first seat. There. Can I walk along that ledge? I don't think so. I think it's just another run and pray. No. Made it. And the boss can't actually hit this bit, so we're alright. There goes the next one. So what we're actually doing at this bit is the boss has been holding back the Chaos Flame and as we're breaking these seals we're releasing it. And the reason it's in three bits is because the bed of Chaos isn't just the Witch of Isolith. It's the Witch of Isolith and two of her daughters stuck together because they all got fused together when they tried to create their own flame. And I don't know again. So yes, I am doing Bed of Chaos in the mandatory at least four runs. But yeah, they all got, when they decided to try and make their own second flame, messed everything up and invented demons. Family fun time. They just sort of all merged together and end up becoming that thing. And yeah, the arms are a pain. Like, you've got to try and bait them out, but... Even if you bait them out, you can still get, just get knocked and thrown off your jump. Let's 
Co. Tell you what, we'll do it just wearing the hood. Come maximum speed. So we land here. She does the eruption because she's a bitch. to aim at this a ah. little bit to the right naked run all the way Oi, Breener. You are in time to catch me doing what is essentially the movie event boss. Victory is guaranteed eventually. Your damage and your gear doesn't matter. You've just got to run like a man bat. Breener. Tentacle monsters. You should be familiar with those by now. Dun, 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 dun. So, we need to go slightly to the right, not slightly to the right. So left. So dodge these. Wait for it to do the next bit, whatever it decides to do. And now, run. Run, 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 run. Ah! Slightly further over. Oh, Brina, did you decide what your next scary game was going to be? Or are you going to do another scary game after Soma? There's no, you've still got Bastion to finish. Like, you've still got a few bits to do in it. But what's next? Have you decided yet? Oh yeah, there was that game that was it Jammy gave it to you? Or Jammy suggested it? Dark Ward. Yeah, that looks interesting. Right. So I still need to be a bit further right than I was before. Starting the spell before I even get down here. Now do your next one. And now we approach from this direction. Did it.
Jamie is cool. And now here is the real boss. So I'm going to punch quickly before. The bit of stairs kills me, but yeah, that's the real boss. Literally has almost no health. <laughs> right, so we shall get some more strength because strength and we shall warp to Firelink. <laughs> I never said I had any manners, Brina. Not seen one of these guys for a while. Who's going to be first to get it? Brina. Right. So we have humanities, we've got a few salts. So we'll get these out. Because we're going to be using a bunch of these now. So now we have the soul of Smao, core of an iron golem, soul of Quelak. We have all these shards and chunks. We've got anything else that needs dumping in the box? Isolith catalyst. That's Imagine cool. having banners. <laughs> Yeah, I imagine having banners. So let's fly Honda. You could go in there, we'll keep the great sword out. Great sword can be our backup weapon. Uh Sunlight Magnet we need to key. Black iron, black iron. The gold hem stuff away, I don't need that anymore. Wanderer's coat, keep that. Rings, your miracles, your attunement slots. Don't need you anymore. HP from fallen enemies, we'll keep that out. Orange shard ring will keep. We're not going to use you at any point. Don't need you. We will keep the sacrifice rings. So, one other thing to do. <laughs> yeah, play X, comma, make us all characters. First time I played through, I think it was at XCOM 2. Yeah, it was. It was XCOM 2. I made all of my D&D &D group. So Dave, his wife Katie, Jamie and a couple of others. All into characters in it. And as predictable as she was in D&D, &D, Katie died in like the first mission where people could die. So I have come back here for one reason and one reason alone. Thank you. Why, hey, you monster! The fair lady! What have you done? What have you done? Ah! And yeah, he's not happy with us now, but he's a bit of a weirdo anyway. Now, do I have any fire bombs here? No. Just have to do it this way then. Run away!
And now we have an extra Estus upgrade, because she was a firekeeper. However, there is a bonfire here we can still use. So I was just resetting that guy up there, because I didn't want to fight the maggot things. Go back, his item should still be here. Ta da! Egg vermifuge. And because I will need to, I'm going to use one. So the parasites that come out of these guys, the big eels when you splat one, they actually. Have, uh, actually infect you if you manage to get hit by them and it grows and grows and eventually you can't wear head armor and it pops out and it gives you a weird special attack but it's a pain because you can't wear your head armor and the egg vermifuge that I've just eaten cures it Back to Firelink, because we are going to go and find some upgrades. So, first of all, how much do I need for another level up? 25. So, we shall use... Great Hero. Boom. Don't need any more debts, don't need faith. Bugger it. Just keep pumping strength. And then we're gonna go and see our buddy Andre. Baz, I see you lurking. <laughs> Brino checking chat. Dragon's Tooth because I need more Dragon Scales, but I can reinforce my armor, so that's what I'm going to do. So I've decided I am going to wear this armor for the rest of the game. So. So I actually need Twinkling Titanite for the black stuff. Don't 
There we go. All upgraded. Now, can I buy chunks? I don't think I can. We'll buy that just so I can upgrade my stuff at my bonfire if I went to, want to. Shall repair you. Most weapons and armor <gasps> like Easter D and D. Sabrina. The name of the town is Hlanvaya Pohwing Gichukeru Windrovo Hlantasilio Gogogoch. And it is on the Isle of Anglesey. So pay them a little respect, eh? Don't get neither of them. Right. So I have some upgrades. We shall put on steel protection. And now we are going to go somewhere I thought I would never actually go back to. Because. Because, because, because. There is an area I forgot about. So we go up here. Back past Quelag. Yeah, I always lurk in streams while I'm working. Or if I'm doing other stuff. Right, luckily I get to chat a bit in Manu's streams because it's like during the easiest part of the day for me where I'm just replying to emails and printing off batches and all that rubbish. Right. So we're going to go back this way. Back into the filth that is Blight Town. Not because I want to, but because Blight Town is on the way to where we need to go. Oh wow, the frame rate dra dies there, doesn't it? Rolling through Blight Town. This bonfire and reset my poison. In fact, do I have any poison stuff left? Don't do I? Hmm. I'll go. I do have a couple, so I'll take them. And we're going this way, looking for a tree. monster. There it is. Then we have the big eels, or big leeches I should say, who we are going to ignore. This is where I was meant to go. Bro. 
through here. Where is it? I know you're here somewhere. There. We have a chest. And we have a twin humanities. But we don't only have a chest here, we also have another hidden wall. Welcome to the Great Hollow. Because it is a great hollow tree. Bit of ladder. Going down. And something just died. And we have a bonfire. So. See all this? We've got to make our way down all of this. And you've got to do it with strategic walking and rolling and jumping. And you've got to be careful because you're guaranteed to take damage. There are other areas you can get into. Plenty of secrets along here, but it is also a really good place to find upgrade materials, which is why I'm here. So here we have... What's this? Is this a fake out? It is, isn't it? Rubbish. Right. So we'll drop down to the next one. And we just carry on going like this till we find something useful now here is where the items start appearing so we're going over that way oh and that is the danger of this place One false step and you fall all the way down. And yeah, some of the branches are traps as well. So that looks like it looks like it's an alright drop, but it actually looks a lot further than it is. Or it is actually a lot further than it looks, I should say. My England is failing me. So we'll go off this bit. There. From here we go off this bit. There's the first of the enemies. So, we'll follow this bit around. See what this gets us. Red Titanite Chunk. And I think we want to go on to that light coloured one. So, jump it. Poker. Now, oh. Balls. Do it this way. Go. 
Got him. Right, where do I go from here? Go. Let's go around. This splits. This leads inside the tree trunk. It doesn't like there's anything actually there. I am lost again. Nope. Ah. Uh. There is going to be a lot of falling in this episode. Da, da, da. I wonder if I can make it in that tree trunk from here. Oh, I can. Oh, yeah! The ring everybody wants. Stamina recovery. Officially the best ring in the game. Officially the best ring in all Dark Souls games. Everybody loves the Chloranthi ring. Right, let's try and carefully walk off this bit. There. So we're gonna twinkle in the little guy down there. how to get to him. Oh, there's a ladder there. So if I can get to th that bit next time, I could just ladder it. Is that close? We have another item. White Titanite Junk. So, let's walk off this bit. Blue Titanite Chunk. So that's where the ladder goes. Where is next? If I just trapped myself. I think I have. Booker. There. So where to go from here is the problem. Ah, this bit.
And I'm at the bottom. And that thing there, Chris Light's thing, is another player that got cursed here. the way out from here because there is more dropping down and there is the ladder so what does the ladder take me to there's another one falling down so this ladder takes me here, this ladder takes me... I'm hoping this is a shortcut. I really hope this is a shortcut. This ladder takes me here, and you... Ah, it's kind of a shortcut, I just need to remember that that's there. And then I can ladder the rest of the way. And then pick one of these to go through. Which hole should I drop through? I'm going to say this one because it's nice near the edge. Ah, uh, no. Nope. That was the wrong one. Oof. Right, so. The bit I needed to get to with the ladder. This way. Now, um Stop it, I don't want to be cursed. There. Now, ladder, ladder, where is the ladder? Are you the ladder one? I can't remember. There's the ladder one, so... No! I should have jumped that there. Come on, you guys. And now, 
I need to run and jump off this bit. There. Now I can use the ladder. And then we have this ladder. And we're at the bottom of this bit. Here somewhere. It's always weird that this area has like no music in it whatsoever as well. Like it's almost completely silent. Right. Where do I need to go? Looks to be here. Get me out of the cursed stuff, please. Blech. It is not the strongest weapon. Um, oh, and now I'm cursed. No, it's not the strongest weapon, but it is a pretty powerful one. But I think the strongest weapon in the game is from one of the bosses. And you can almost one shot stuff with it if you set things up correctly. Because the thing there's things called glass cannon builds. And you get like bonuses when you're on low health and that kind of thing from it. So they're only good for like one hit. But that one hit they do is like a ridiculous amount of damage. Well, I've seen somebody do it and one shot the first boss of the game. Like, literally just walks into the boss room with everything set up from his previous playthrough. They're not even their eyes, Manu. I will show you their eyes on a net dead one in a bit. They are just distractions. We'll kill these ones down here. He fell. Never mind. Another one over here. So. So I can roll him over a bit. Those big things on their head aren't their eyes. They have a beak. Which you can't really see properly because it's flopping under here. But their actual eyes are on their beak next to where their teeth are. They're fake eyes. Ooh, tight tight. So we've still got these guys down here. Can I get a sneaky drop attack in? I can. There. So yeah, the little sneaky beak that they have, their eyes are actually on that. The big things on their head are like... Oh, you beat the rotten Alex. Nice. How many tries did that one take you?
Oh, there's the body of the other one that fell down earlier. Now, we should start seeing these guys. Small angry mushrooms. And that sound effect is a real animal. It is a bird. And I only know that from a Let's Players that I watch. And it's a bird called a loon, because it is the Canadian national bird. That's the sound that it makes. What am I doing? It is the Canadian national bird, it shows on their currency and everything. And it's called a loon. Oh, big one's there. And I really want to avoid the punch on this thing. The punches on these things murder you. There. Another big one. Another two big ones. And you can see they sort of leap forwards a bit with their punch as well. Like I am. And now we are in a new area. Welcome to Ash Lake, which is the bottom of the world. I need to get to that bonfire. But there are a few obstacles to getting there. First of all, you got that guy. He didn't spot me, he didn't spot me. I am good. I don't need the blast bombs anymore. No. Is Ash Lake one of the ones I can walk to? It doesn't look like it. So. Time to do a bit of running and gunning and fighting and trying to kill the Hydra. 
because that's one of the reasons we're here. But yeah, these, that giant ass tree there is what we've just climbed down, or fell down technically. And then this dude is the Hydra. Or the Black Hydra specifically. And he is our target for today. Or our new target, I should say. Ooh! It's a big attack. Slam on over your head, so it's really easy. That could be a fun one to try to avoid. Got one of his heads at least. Unfortunately, it doesn't stay that way. Otherwise, this fight will be much easier. Oh yeah, I can make it over to that other tree, can't I? Oh no, have I just fallen down? Right. Because there is a bonfire I can walk to here. So we shall rush forwards. Get Mr Hydra to follow us. Come on.
Yep. He has something I want. Come on, do your scream. Heal. Need to move forward so he does do that again. that attack please Missed. Weird. He dead. And I got two dragon scales, which is exactly what I wanted. Because I need those to upgrade my big hammer. Nice one. And another dragon scale. Trunk with another dragon scale. These are just what I needed. And now we have the weird giant clam thingies. Stone. Twinkling Titanites. That will do. This is where I get all my cool. Uh, I just beat the Hydra Dave down at the bottom of Ash Lake. I came down here for Dragon Scales and Twinkling Titanite because I need them for upgrades. I've got enough poise to just wail on these guys. And now we have the mysterious skull that nobody knows why it exists. It is just here, nobody knows what it's a skull of or why it's there.
<laughs> yeah, this is actually the first time I've been here on a playthrough. But I missed it completely on my first playthrough. Didn't even know it existed. So, another dragon scale. in this bit. So we have an entrance here. <gasps> These assholes. And then Mr. Big with his really painful punch. Yeah, I was saying to Manu Dave that the the death sound of these guys. Yep, punch got me. The death sound of the big mushroom guys is the Canadian national bird, and I only know that from watching Best Friends. Yeah, Matt and Pat. So they did a, a series where they went through the Dark Souls games. And they mentioned when they played Dark Souls 1 that the death sound of the mushrooms is the loon, which is like the Canadian national bird. I have healing now, so this won't be anywhere near as bad. Yeah, they had a falling out like a while back, so they've all gone their separate ways now. But there were... that's exactly what I needed. Four of them. There were Matt, Pat, Wooly and Liam. And Liam left to do other stuff because, like, making videos and things wasn't good for his mental health. We went on to do other things. Bastard. Uh, Wooly and Pat still do, do stuff together. And then Matt kind of just does his own YouTube things now. <laughs> yeah, Pat is a, a prick to a lot of people. Wally is a easily the best of the bunch. That is quite the dragon tooth you got there, sir. Flushed face. Hi, Greg. I am trying not to get beaten up by walking mushrooms again. Taking care of the little lizard bastard. Did I hear dragon? 
Dragon D's nuts across Brina's face. Ah, <laughs> oh, poor Brina. And down goes the mushroom man. Right, is this another jumping puzzle area? It looks like it. The wall says no. <clears throat> the wall can get stuffed. Right then, so... I'm guessing... Drop onto this. Yeah. Um, it is slightly different than the club. Bartil beat you like a fucking egg. Oh, create magic barrier when I'm not using magic. Typical. So you get... Slam. Rolling attack is that. You have... Two light attacks. And only one heavy attack. But the you heavy attack a has the, a pack uh, of you, are you? the unique thing where you can change the direction of it. So he, he reels it back and before he swings forward you can aim it wherever you like. So you can like 180 people. <laughs> right, what's over this way? We have another clamshell. Hello. Bop. Any drops? Twinkly tie tonight, maybe? No. Rubbish. So yeah, this is like basically the bottom of the world. This is from the opening cutscene when it talks about everything before the first flame. This is everything that existed before the first flame. It was just lots of trees and dragons. You wouldn't beat your way out of a wet paper bag, you hear. And speaking of dragons... Do we have here? A dragon. And a bonfire. But the thing is, with this dragon, like all dragons, chop his tail off. But this guy will make the Lord and Savior. Right, chopped off his tail, he does not care. And this is the weapon that he drops. Yeah, Dragon Greatsword has a cool effect on it. Whoosh. 
And who's a little bitch? <laughs> right. So. I managed to grab a bunch of dragon scales and a bit of twinkling titanite. So. Let's go and upgrade this ship. So we'll go back to Filing Shrine. We shall upgrade our stuff and then I think I'll finish there because it'll be round about 8 o'clock then. But first, go and see this Firekeeper. Upgrade my Estus a bit more. Hello. And she's just whinging about talking to people again. Right, so. Over to Andre to reinforce my shit. And then we shall continue next time with the skeleton tombs and the uh, the tomb of the giants now that I have a light source to wear while I'm in there Oh yeah, the heavy attack for this has hyper armor on it as well. So it's much harder for enemies to knock you out of the animation while you're doing it. Dun, 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 dun. Right. Andre, come and upgrade my stuff. Reinforce weapon. <gasps> Alex is a little bitch. Upgrade oh, dragon tooth. Great dragon tooth. I need ten thousand souls. Don't get yourself night. Which is why I brought these. So I need four more dragon scales to get it up to a plus five, and then it'll be fully upgraded. We shall reinforce our armor a bit, so we have a chunk, so you can go to part eight. I've got one twink in titanite, so we will upgrade you a bit as well. There we go. We have some nicely upgraded armor. And weapons now. And yeah, Andre is a beast. Look at him. Look at that beard. And now we travel to... Not Dark Moon. Yeah, it's gonna be Fire Link in it. You sorry for dinner. Oh, he doesn't like us because I ignored him. 
sucks to be that guy. Right. So let's make our way down to where we were. In this tomb last time. Splat a few skeletons along the way. Oh, you think you're good at Dark Souls? Have you ever even tried Elm plus 99, Soul level 1, no armor, no weapons, no magic, no damage taken, no NPCs spoken to, inverted controls on an electric drum kit, no rolling, no backstep, no sprinting, no lock-on, no consumables, no audio, no parry? No? That is what I thought. <laughs> I've not tried it like that just yet. Although me and Alex were talking yesterday about the guy who did the the All Soul series back to back no hits. Like he started with Dark Souls one, did Dark Souls one, two, and three, and Bloodborne as well, I think. All in a row without getting hit once all the way through. That guy is insane. Thinks the think that's the guy. Like he did it where if he got hit in any of the games he had to go right back to the start and start with Dark Souls 1 again. <laughs> oh, you think you're good at Dark Sue? Have you ever played a game about a bald guy who looks like Greg who traverses the land using only a pogo stick but can't get past some easy baby grapes? No? That is what I thought. <gasps> easy baby grapes? I still never found that last necromancer in there, did I? Oh well. Run. And then over here we have wheel skeletons, the true enemy of all Dark Souls players. Let's fuck wheel skeletons. Get them before they can do anything. Yeah, magic is broken in most of them. Like, I did 
Dark Souls 2 as a magic run. Like named it after my uh, Dungeons and Dragons character. And yeah, I melted my way through most of that game. I think the only bit I got stuck on was the big poison DLC. Because everything in that has like massive damage reduction to to magic. Right. Now we put this on. Now I can see where I'm going. So, where was the bonfire? I see you. There is Isleth down at the bottom, where we will be going eventually. So let's slide down this one. It is. And there is the bonfire I was looking for. So oh, bugger it, let's just drop down to it. What time is it? It's 8 o'clock. So yeah, I am going to be finishing now. We have made it to the Grave of the Giants. We have got some upgrades to our gear. We have a light source to be able to see where we're going now. Rather than just running off into the abyss like I did last time. So Katie says you have to regrow your beard. I'm sorry Katie, but it's not happening. So... We shall... See who's going on. The Brino's usually going on at this time. Is he streaming today? You should know, Kelly. Brina, are you there? Are you streaming today? Are you going live? If you are, I will raid over to you. If not, I'm specifically going to find somebody playing Dark Souls. Or not even Dark Souls, I'm specifically going to find somebody playing Hollow Knight and raid them instead.
<laughs> all right yeah it's seeing you on showing you as online now so everybody say hi to Brina he's playing XCOM 2 oh uh, thanks for watching everybody I will see you all on Tuesday for more Subnautica um, again I am still trying to throw in a random third streaming day at some point so keep an eye on the discord for whenever I decide to do it otherwise it will be Tuesday for Subnautica now let's all go say hi to Breener and watch him miss shots with a 95% hit chance because that's what happens in XCOM if you play XCOM you get a perfect shot lined up it says 95% chance to hit <laughs> yep 95% chance to hit and then it will miss anyway so have fun watching Brina do that and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.